it's time for me to make a video about Jet Lawrence. It, it really is time. I've tried to resist. Uh, I've hoped that somebody would beat the guy. I didn't want to see Boring Racing this year, but I've started to realize. I, I watched him really close this weekend, uh, and I figured if there's somewhere we're going to see him stutter, you know, maybe it's going to be a track that's a little different like Southwick um, and with Sexton back and starting to get dialed in. And that just wasn't the case. So I watched him real close, and I watched his riding style. And I know you guys are going to say, I told you so, I told you so. But let me just say, I've really liked Sexton's riding style over the last couple years. His technique seems almost perfect. You know, very little movement of his core. The uh, bike just kind of flows. Well, when I watch Jet, I see that, like, multiplied by several times. It is absolutely... Um, an art form and you know guys like Barsha guys like Stewart and Dungey and Eli yes they go fast they always went fast but um, they look like they're going fast I'm watching Jet and he looks like he's going slow like it, it looks so easy it looks like he's not putting forth effort I've never quite seen I, I could only describe it as an art form um, the way he rides this motorcycle and you know is it the honda is it the way the honda suits him or is it just him can he do this on any machine i don't know but i really think i'm ready to talk about the perfect season uh you know there's people chirping saying that um jet hates washugal which is coming up uh they're saying chase is good at washugal and he's really good at millville I don't know. I, I have to go back and watch the races from past years. I don't know. But I'm telling you, I feel like he's ju that Jet is just on a different level. And barring a mechanical failure or a catastrophic crash, probably which would have, which would be um, out of you know out of his control, something with a lapper or something like that. I don't think this guy is going to get beat. I don't think a tip over is going to do it. I think he can tip over. And he will still win. He might be able to tip over two or three times and still win. And I can also find myself becoming more and more of a fan of the guy. I like the social media posts he made last week with Sexton while he's asleep beside him. I can appreciate stuff like that. I don't have anything against Jet or anything against Australia. But I obviously want to see a closer, a little bit more of exciting race than this. People are talking about perfect season. But also we have to think about how early does he wrap up this title even without the perfect season. Could he wrap this up three rounds before it's even done? I sure hope not, but we'll see.